gosh, right about half an hour ago. 9.39, uh, it's 9.39 right now. About a half an hour ago, 9.09 p.m. That dog sounded like he's getting all freaking hostile with someone. People gotta have their dogs or else they will die. My. <laughs> I did some, <laughs> did some little tricks with it. Uh, I guess that's enough of uh, that. Oh, that's hot Atlanta with the blaze just straight like. Um, I'll show you. I'll try not to move it. Well, the blades moved a little bit, but they they were basically. Well, they were straight in line with each other, both sets of blades. Kind of like that. It, well, both sets of blades were like that when it landed. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Man, I love flying this thing. But now it's time to refuel. And... I was watching a video of a much larger remote control helicopter. Oh, I'll just let you see a little bit of it while this is going to refuel. <laughs> Oh man, just to let you know, I would love to have one of these. I don't know if this is 600 size or 800 size. I got these different size, but like, it's freaking huge. I mean, like, look at these dudes and then this thing.
Santa. Bell helicopter, it's a model four, uh, you know, Bell 430. Uh, I guess it's turbine powered or whatever, but it's just really awesome. I'd like to have one. Even the 429 would be awesome, but those are really good. Oh man, it'd be nice to have remote control, like six or eight hundred sized, whatever they call it of the Bell 525 Relentless that they had just announced this year and they only got like one or two of them built in like real life helicopters but oh my gosh it'd just be a great one some neat stuff. Okay, so they just... So they just basically, uh... hovered it or whatever, but anyway... It's uh it's really nice. Um they just got some really um neat stuff. But anyway, and so for that I'm going to <coughs> set this up well. Let this one cool a little bit. But uh Got the, I got my uh, one amp USB charger set up, and uh, with um, well, I got uh, the red light you see is actually a um, a uh, just a surge protector, a simple one. And I got the switch here. Can't really see it because of my hand. Well, you can see it now. The wall switch knows charger cables for the helicopter. It turns red whenever. I guess it like has no resistance or whatever. And you can see this is the USB charger right here, where my, right there, and then this is the uh, charging cable, and you just shut it off with the switch, or you turn it on. But um, that's so I don't have to keep unplugging and plugging it and all that. But like they say, you're not supposed to like try to charge these batteries immediately. After running them down, like on a limb cool, like at least five or ten minutes or whatever. And, uh, but yeah, that was pretty fun. So, uh, um, well, just, oh, there's Beaky Buddy. Oh, he's a Beaky. Oh, he's a Beaky. Oh, yes, he is a Beaky. Oh, the Bronchindle, Chindle, the Beakly and Babyloid. Anyway. This is the controller to my uh, to my Apache helicopter. Turn on here, and you'll see the infrared. I see that really good. I, sh I see it. Sh well, on the camera, it's showing up really good, but I'm looking at it with my eyes, and like you can't even see it in this amount of light. But apparently, the camera picks up on that type of infrared energy, or well, that kind of wavelength, or whatever. Here's my Apache. 
Here's a circuit board. It's only like three quarter inch by like one and a half inch or whatever. Um, <laughs> what I could do is put one of these circuit boards in the uh, Raspberry Pi box and use it to control the lighting and all that because, you know, they um, just use one of these lithium polymer batteries or whatever and just. You know, the circuit board's only a couple bucks. The battery's like six bucks and used to run the lighting and all that and of course there's a charge port um... And you see this here as I uh, turn these rotors you can see the uh, the gears and um... I gotta repair that, I got it taken apart this black thing here is called, that's what they call the mainframe, it holds the gear assembly and all that piece broke off of it and the gear came loose. Here's actually the controller that came with my um, the little red helicopter you see me fly. It does not have a spring-loaded throttle. Some ways that's good. Uh, if you want to just set it to like autopilot and hover itself. So you got time to go scratch your head or whatever real quick. Took the took the battery out of his cell phone and it's only like a quarter inch thick and I might use it to power LEDs in the Raspberry Pi box because it puts out the right voltage this is my uh, this is some of the parts um, here's one of those uh, helicopter batteries one of those LiPo lithium polymer batteries uh, they're pretty lightweight um, and uh, that's what was in my Apache. Here's the bottom part of the frame to the Apache. I got here. I started doing helicopter repair just a few days ago. First time I ever took apart one of these little helicopters. And um, you can see how chewed up them blades are from uh, hitting all these wires and stuff. Uh, now on my red helicopter, apparently they're not all chewed up because um, my I've been extra careful with that. I mean, I've crashed into some stuff, but um, they uh, don't look chewed at all, not yet. And uh, well, it's been more than five minutes for sure. I think it's safe to uh, refuel it, so I will um, connect the helicopter to the charge up uh, to the to the fuel <laughs> hose. <laughs> I like to pretend it's real. And um, well, wait. They say you got to turn on your um, charger, your power supply first. Okay, turn off turn it on and hey, watch that light as I plug this up and you hear that high frequency sound it's coming from that charger and that cable matter of fact the thing it is coming from the cable check this out it's gone when you unplug the cable so in a way it's good because you see the pink red light and all that you can hear that high frequency sound and it lets you know that the thing is charged when that light comes back on you plug this up and it and it goes off and that light will come back on again and you'll hear that sound whenever the helicopter is fully charged so uh... I got it sitting right here next to my computer, so when I'm at my computer doing stuff, I can uh, see that it's charged and all that, and uh, then I can hear it. And uh, but anyway, um, it's just about bedtime because I got to get up before daylight, which it sucks. And I go into work at like freaking eight o'clock in the morning. I hate it. And so anyway. Um, just wanted to uh, make me another video on the helicopter. Of course, their dog you just gotta be all making noise, and it just 
sounds like it's mean or whatever. I don't even know. It's dumb. Um, and, uh, bronchial buddy over here is full of peace and goodness in his soul. Um, he's all, like, quiet and all that. Um, and he's all, where did he go? Well, anyway, uh, he hates the helicopter. <laughs> And he gets scared of them, but, you know, I like to fly them anyway. And, um, so I'll, I'll definitely make some more and get some more practice and, uh, try to do some more obstacle stuff. And, anyway, enjoy.